Oh my god, uh, it is a day before Comic Con. What the crap? And I got nothing packed, nothing packed yet. Holy crap. Welcome to Comics of Coffee. I am your host, Jay Wheeler. Good afternoon. How's it going, everyone? Are we all packed, ready to go for Comic Con? Because Comic Con. Starts tomorrow, a preview night. I have not got anything packed yet, but I do have my costumes. So that's number one. Never mind how to get there or where to sleep or what to change into. Costumes are done though. Yeah. Alright, so today I've got no new comics because. Excuse me? Because uh, Empire Comic Books is closed today because. The owner of it, Ben, is going to Comic Con as well, and he's going to be at one of his own. He's going to have his own booth in that comic section of Comic Con. So, if you're watching this video and you go to Empire Comic Books and you're going to Comic Con, go see Ben. Check him out. He's going to be, you know, selling his comic books and do other things. So, check that out. All right. So, since there's no new comic books today, I'm going to be talking about. Basically, what I've been talking about for two weeks now, just more Comic-Con news, pre-stuff, before it actually starts tomorrow. So, plus, if I go tomorrow to Comic-Con, because I heard, and I've been invited to an MTV party, that all you need to get into this party is a Comic-Con badge. So, if you want, if you're going to Comic-Con tomorrow, and you have a badge, there's an MTV party going on. I don't know where, but I'm pretty sure it will be advertised in San Diego. So if you're going, go there because it's gonna it's gonna be a you know it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be a cool party. MTV's throwing it, and it's free for anyone that has a Comic Con badge. So I'm pretty sure that's gonna be an amazing party. Uh, so I'm thinking of going that tomorrow. Uh, there are ob other obligations that I. I'm going to go to, so I don't know yet about that, but I'm leaving Friday, so there's another there's another party that is going on that night as well, and if you are big in the cosplay, there's going to be a couple famous cosplay girls uh, that are going to be there as well, so check that out, because, you know, cosplay is awesome, and... There's going to be video games, and drinking, and cosplay, I think. So, I mean, why would you not want to go to that party as well? Basically, what I'm saying is, besides dressing up and reading comic books and watching all these amazing people that do these amazing shows, there's going to be adult parties that you could dress, you could still dress up as people and drink at these parties. How... How awesome is that to nerds? I mean, really? It's like the one weekend out of the whole year, we can go to bars wearing a Superman costume or wearing a Deadpool costume or just wearing a Power Ranger t-shirt and everyone loving it and drinking at the same time. I think that's a dream come true for us nerds. So, yeah. So, Thursday, party, MTV. Friday, party, hot cosplay girls. Uh, and then the rest of the rest of the week, uh, there's more parties. Um, yeah. So okay. Now to the news. All right. So uh, Warner Brothers branding manager, branding manager, uh, has been discussing the superhero, discussing the future of DC comic superheroes and what movies they should move on from Man of Steel. Now, yesterday I talked about the Flash and how how DC's kind of focusing on that right now, make, see if they can get that off the ground. But right here, they're talk, uh, the branding manager is talking about having Sandman at the top of the list for another DC movie. She thinks that Sandman could be as rich as Harry Potter, but Sandman's kind of a different universe than Harry Potter was. So I don't know how that would those two coincide together? I don't know. But but that's at the top. And don't get me wrong, Sandman is a great comic book, great graphic novel, 
it's amazing, but I don't think it has. I don't think it's in the same area as Harry Potter. Um, Fable, the video game and the comic book. Some people like the comic book more than the video game. That would that would be a cool. It'd be a cool movie. I'd like to see it, but there's a lot of those movies out now. Since the Lord of the Rings happened, and there's The Hobbit, and there's, uh, where else is there? Oh, there's Percy Jackson. So, it would have to be its own movie, a standalone movie, because there's a, a lot of people are waiting for The Hobbit, and I don't know how many people are waiting for Percy Jackson, but I don't know. That would, there would be a lot of people seeing it, don't get me wrong, because there are a huge amount of fans for Fable, the video game, and the comic book, so... Let's see what, how that goes. Uh, Metal Men. If you're not unfamiliar with Metal Men, there, uh, there was a scientist back in the 50s that created uh, these, what was it, four elementary, uh, element, different kinds of metal, basically. There's a, a metal, copper, um, where is it? Basically, there are like four different metals. One's a female, and the other... Three are metal and other different kinds of metal. I can't name them all. I'm sorry, because I'm not really into the metal men, but I know of them. So, my apologies, and excuse me for not getting all of them right. Uh, Justice League, obviously. Uh, they're talking about an Aquaman movie and a Wonder Woman movie. Now, the Aquaman and Wonder Woman movies apparently are really hard to get people or get Warner Brothers behind them, or any production companies behind them, because they're always talking about making an Aquaman, then they try to make an Aquaman TV show when Smallville is popular, then they try to make a Wonder Woman show when Heroes is popular, and those both crumbled even before we saw te the pilot, so making a movie, not to mention there's constant talks about like, oh, Olivia Wilde is Wonder Woman. Oh, Megan Fox is Wonder Woman. Oh, Jessica Biel is Wonder Woman. Oh, blah, blah, blah. listen. Find out first if you're going to have someone write the movie. Then go from there. Okay? Don't... Let's not put all our eggs in one basket before the chicken lays them. If that made sense to you, good. Because it made sense in my head. But as I said it, I'm like, that... That kind of doesn't make sense, but hopefully it does. I don't know. Yeah, it's just DC. I'm DC and Warner Bros. I'm having. I'm seeing. This is just my opinion. This is not a fact. Is that they constantly are keep saying, "Hey, let's make an Aquaman movie," or "Hey, let's make a Wonder Woman movie." First, let's start with one movie at a time. Okay. If your main focus right now is on the Flash. Focus on the Flash. Don't go, we're focusing on the Flash, but then we want to make a Wonder Woman movie, and we want to make an Aquaman movie. No. One movie at a time, one superhero at a time, that's what they did. Okay? They made an Iron Man movie first, then once Iron Man got popular, they made a Thor movie, once Thor got popular, they made a Captain America movie, then once all those were popular and made money, they made an Avengers movie. Okay, if you're going, if, I won't get it on this rant, because I keep getting on this rant. All I'm saying is, if we're going to make an Aquaman or a Wonder Woman movie, start with one superhero, and then move on from there. That's all I'm going to say after that. All right. Thirdly, Adult Swim has released an animated cartoonish clips for uh, the upcoming R.I.P.D., which are voiced by Jeff Bridges and Ryan Reynolds. I put that link up on my website, shortnerdyguy.com, so if you want to go see that, check it out. It's pretty good. Adult Swim did it, and you know Adult Swim is pretty good for their cartoons, so check that out. And then, lastly, there's a new uh, new movie. I am I think it, I just found it out today. I don't know if anyone else knows about it, but the new movie is called The Seventh Son. And their Comic-Con debut poster will be out at Comic-Con, so check that out. But it's basically, again, it's uh, like, it's it has its, let's put it this way, it's like Assassin's Creed meets Prince Persia 
with some Merlin on it, and yeah, pretty much put all that together, and that's Seven Sun. That's what my opinion is. So, um, yeah, if you're a Comic Con, check it out. If you've read the Seven Sun books, uh, this is probably exciting for you to see this poster at Comic Con. So, check those out. Uh, what do you want, Debbie? What do you want? What? I know. Sorry, dog. Um, yeah, so that is it for today. I hope you all have a good day. Uh, please read more comic books. Please enjoy yourselves at uh, Comic-Con. Also, if you're driving, be careful. If you're drinking at any of these parties, drink responsibly. And have a good time. So I will see you all there. Goodbye.